Deutsche Association. Uh, we started Wiki Voyage originally in 2006. James talked about the uh, history and um, we founded the association that's based in the small town of Halle in Germany. And till October 2012, we hosted the whole Wiki Voyage website. We are registered as a non profit association, um, like the local chapters. And till then, we had uh, mostly, of course, members from Germany and one from Belgium. Little, uh, meanwhile, we have um, members from Canada and Pakistan as well. During the, the last six years, we, we actually were only uh, 10 guys who won it with 800 to 1,000 euro per year, but at least we have been able to host the website for six years. I think it's not too bad. Um, we had only one admin who did everything in his free time, including the migration of the English Wiki Voyage to our servers before we moved uh, to the WMF. And we still host uh, the association website and new, f and new features like the map feature. So after the move to the Wikimedia Foundation, our main objective changed, of course. We don't have to host uh, the website any longer. So now I want to speak about what we uh, should do now as an association, what are our main tasks. Of course, we want to support all the Wiki Voyage language and co um, coordinate and improve the col collaboration between the language versions because we want to avoid redundant work. People have ideas about new templates, maps, or whatever, but we want to focus on it all together and include all language versions. That's why that's uh, one thing we should do as an association. Um, bring the communities together and interact with the technicians from the Wikimedia Foundations and coordinate all the processes. Of course, we should initiate local campaigns like the ones with the youth in Upper Lusatia and all maybe organizing editatons. What similar things that some Wikimedia uh, uh, chapters do as well. Of course, doing advertising, so we want to attract new uh, contributors, new readers making talk with, um, with other tools. I, I want to uh, leave leaflets and something like that in the tourism boards in the, the regions in Germany. And we want to interact with other this news and online media as people who have, want to have information about the world, they can ask us, of course. How can uh, others support the Wiki Watch Association? Of course, they can become a member. We have, um, it's just um, a form to, uh, needed to be filled out and sent to us. The form is available in comments, currently in Italian, English, and German. Um, some guys uh, offer to, to provide the Spanish and the French version as well. And it's, it's possible to become a supporter or just volunteer. These are uh, members of the community that do spend much more time on Wiki Voyage and uh, support the project, not only write their own articles. So we have the three guys who are responsible for the English Twitter site of Wiki Voyage. And we have the guy who makes all the map features. And so you can become a supporter or volunteer as well. Yeah, as many of you may have noticed, um, we got some trouble with our logo recently. We were happy to have one, but now um, the WTO noticed that it's too similar to their own logo. So at the moment, we are in the process to find a new one. I think the first uh, round is, is um, closed. Now is a review to the six winners, I think, yeah. six winners. And there will be another voting um, after Wikimania to find, hopefully, our final logo. And then, um, li listed here are the three most popular Wikivoyage potential logos at this point here. Um, and 
as Stefan said, everybody will have an opportunity to, uh, to weigh in on Meta um, and vote on it. So, um, at the end, I can just tell you, yeah, let's get started. The first thing you can do is, of course, check your hometown. I was the article about your own hometown. I think the most will find something that is missed already. And at restaurants, your travel photos, or just edit the pages about the, few, uh, the places you have been recently. Or we have also Facebooks. Um, if you know a second language, uh, just give other, tra uh, other travelers the chance uh, to communicate when they travel and uh, complete our phrase books. And of course, please add your experience in Hong Kong to Wiki Voyage when you are home. I think you have seen many places here beside the conference. You recommend You can recommend some hotels, sites, whatever. Don't forget it and don't put away the business card just add the information to Wiki Voyage. Thank you. Does, uh, does anyone have any questions? I think we have uh, about five, ten minutes. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll just re repeat the question. Um, our gentleman was asking, why do you think the Wiki Voyage Association is, is necessary since we have the Wikimedia Foundation, since we have um, local chapters? You know, I guess it would be a thematic organization. Do you have, do you have any further words? Yeah, um, we, we are at the moment in the process to be recognized as a thematic organization. And uh, we want to really focus on uh, the project itself, to local campaigns uh, related to uh, um, the project itself. And then see, I think it's important to, to improve the collaboration between language programs. I don't, it that much in other uh, project sites. I think that's why it, the association or the thematic organization Wiki Voyage is still important mm -hmm. to promote and support the project. You know, one of the issues we see with national chapters is they're very geographically based. And you know, we need organizations within the Wikimedia movement that are, that are subject based. Um, so this is, this is a, you know, a thematic organization that's interested, you know, that, that is a group of people who are interested in improving travel content and doing outreach to other organizations that share our same goals of improving, improving travel content. And you know, so this allows people from all over the world to collaborate on the same topic area, which I think is key. <laughs> So, you know, Google has a motto, which, their motto is don't be evil. Um, and I would hope that internet brands wouldn't be able to sway Google into being evil. Um, internet brands, Wiki Travel does of course have Google ads on it. I hope that wouldn't be, you know, justification to give Wiki Voyage a paid rank of zero. Um, it, is, it is a very new site. Um, you know, it's, there is the issue of, be, of it being sort of a fork. But you know, it's the whole you know the community that created the content moved. So so the whole community is with us. The people who wrote all the original content are with us. So hopefully Google will come around. You know, some one of our members works at Google and is discussing things there. You know, if other people have contacts at Google and can bring this up with them, we would very much appreciate it. We've approached the foundation to ask them to bring it up. We're not 100 percent sure. Um, that's why Google. So could Wikipedia Travel have done something that um, ruined its search engine optimization? I don't know. Is there a bug report in Bugzilla? I'm not sure either. Um, well, the, the gentleman who's doing much of this is, is Peter Fitzgerald. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't make it here with us today. So, so I have a theory that Wiki, like Wikimedia projects succeed um, to some extent to the degree to which their like, content is integrated with Wikipedia content because Wikipedia is so much bigger than all the others. Um, yes. uh, 
like if you go to almost any, you know, if I, if I pick a place and I go to an article about it, I will see a link saying there's material in commons about this place. I don't see a link about Wiki Voyage in the vast, I don't know, like I yeah. it very often. Is there a systematic attempt to try to link, link those up? Because it seems like many times people are going to Wikipedia articles about a topic, they actually might like to be linked to uh, travel guide information, and if not, can we yes. start one? No, that's. That's an excellent question. You know, um, initially there was 4,000 links from English Wikipedia to Wikitravel. And I went through them one by one and changed every single one, um, removing the link to Wikitravel and changing it to Wikivoyage. So we now have at least 4,000 links from Wikipedia to Wikivoyage. We've added it to um, the, the sister site template. So when, you know, it lists all the sister sites, Wikivoyage is in there. Um, but yes, you know, we. We would love to have more people add more links. I'm, I'm looking not just for the links, but you know those little, those little, like there's a little template which people, yeah. yeah. You, so, you know, so. The beautiful icon, we have two forms of the template. You know, we have we have it, um, a Wiki Voyage inline template, yeah. which gives you the, the, the little Wiki Voyage logo, which of course will be updated to the new one. Um, because of course, uh, I guess the WTO lost, or didn't have any more, developed countries to, to travel down, so I was looking for new targets. Um, <laughs> they're running out of stuff to do. Uh, well, let's, but, yeah, so, let's, so, let's, let's talk, uh, if other people are interested in this, about doing this in a semi-automated way, because we can identify places, that, like places in Wikipedia that have info boxes or geographic location and lat longs that match, and we can do this in a semi-automated way. Wonderful, that'd be excellent. Great. Yes. And and Wikipedia would be better if we moved it, and Wiki Voyage would be better if we moved it. So it'd be win-win. This, this is why we wanted Wiki Voyage to join us. Is that it keeps us, it keeps Wikipedia and Encyclopedia, and then we have this whole great travel resource for people who want to learn how to get to, let's say, the museum, etc. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Do you know the answer to that one, Stefan? Uh, uh, Wikibooks, uh, we have, uh, in, at least in, German, um, in Germany, we have moved the touristic Wikibooks to Wikivoyage. We, have, we had a collaboration with the uh, Wikibooks project. The most Wikibooks in Germany, the touristic Wikibooks were um, almost uh, empty, just a few information only headings on it, and so we moved uh, the content to the Wiki Voyage. The two guys uh, imported it and moved it to the suitable articles, and then they have been delayed as we moved the content. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm not informed about the English. I should ask the English community if they do something yet, but I will ask them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one comment to the to the links between Wikipedia and Wiki Voyage. Uh, we are at a little bit reluctant in, in, in Germany because the German Wikipedians have some kind of rule, only the absolute best links and somebody kicked it out because we have only an almost empty article on Wiki Voyage. That's why we place it manually and only if we have a, at least a usable article. Yes? With respect to travel, or just 20 most important words in general? Okay. okay. Yes, definitely something that should be looked at. You know, one of the concerns within the open source movement generally is a duplication of effort. You know, no sense reinventing the wheel over and over and over again. Uh, it just wastes people's time. You do it once, you do it best, and that is good. So we should we should look at that. Uh, the gentleman in. Uh, Orange, I think, was first. So, you know, it, it obviously should look like a guidebook because it's in the same family of guidebooks. The benefit of this one is, one, it's in 14 languages. Um, two is it's free, you can download it. 
and three is you can contribute to it and writing travel information is fun and you can update it. So, you know, Lonely Planet just fired all their staff um, and they've now stated that they're no longer, um, uh, they're, they're no longer a content producing site or they're no longer writing books. It all seems kind of strange, but um, so who knows what the future holds? You know, if Lonely Planet is, is stepping somewhat away from travel, there's gonna be this huge space for the general populace to, uh, you know, Wikipedia looks like the Encyclopedia Britannica, but we still need Wikipedia, and now the Encyclopedia Britannica is starting to fade away as well. So, so you know, there's been a few proposals around this. One is that if we if we ho host all this information on Wikidata, then our readers can select what type of hotels you want to see. So, you know, do you want to see hotels in this price range, this price range, or this price range? And then Wikidata will feed you the hotel type that you're interested in. So, then you're only shows every well, well, so. So, you know, you put the most notable ones, you know, um, a lot of towns, you know, the, the, the town I live in, we have maybe six hotels. So, so yeah, one could have an exhaustive list and, and not overwhelm anyone. But of course, for a town like Hong Kong, um, there would be tens of thousands. Um, how many do you list? You list a reasonable number. Um, you know the are, are there guidelines on on, on numbers of hotels? You know, we're not we, an exhaustive list. We have we, we have a wide guideline, but actually the community or the, the country food doesn't work on an article. They have a talk page, and they will select a reasonable range, like in a printed guide as well. The one problem could be the self advertising of, of restaurants and hotels. That's maybe a big problem. Only the, I think only the community can solve this. There are many sites to select this self advertising. Firstly, some uh, some editors are stupid enough to use their hotel name as username, so <laughs> kick it off immediately. Sometimes user come, drop a hotel, and go. No other contributions. That's quite a good sign. Maybe it's advertising. And sometimes they leave in different towns only hotels from the same brand. So there are some signs, and many uh, hotels use a very touristic advertising speech. So there are many signs. You cannot avoid it per 100%, but I think a, a healthy community can manage this. And, and you know, there are guidelines around not touting. So there are guidelines around, yes, you can use exciting language, but no, you cannot use advertising speak. And if you do use advertising speak, what you've added will be removed. Yes. Yes, you know, and that, and that of course is, is decided through community discussion. And, you know, if, you know, people want to have a hundred hotels, on a single page, then yes, discussion will need to occur on which 20, which 15 should be there, um, and then how to organize them, and then, you know, cadre with, 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 you know, Wikidata will hopefully allow us to pick out which hotels are best. And then, of course, the idea around allowing people to provide reviews about hotels, um, you know, hopefully we can, we, we can adapt the feedback tool into a review tool for Wikivoyage. Um, and then you know we could use that sort of feedback to determine what hotels we're going to display. So there's a number of possibilities. Um, I don't think the problem. I don't think we're quite at that problem yet. Um, and when it arrives, you know, hopefully we'll have a large community who will then be able to figure out the solution. What are you thinking about? What, what do you, what are you doing What are we doing to make it more accessible on mobile? Are you aware of? Uh, At the moment, we have the, the two tools, Wiki Sherpa and Kibix. So what we we are working on it. We want to find some more solution because it's one of the main tasks we, we, we have. Because 
you travel around, you, you need it offline, you don't have internet access, or of course it's not available or too expensive, and nobody is, is buying a SIM card just for some days in a foreign country. Yeah, it's one of the main tasks to improve uh, the availability offline. Of yes. Course. Yeah. So, so, so Wiki Sherpa, so everybody's aware, is the offline version of Wiki Voyage. Um, and it's basically, you collect all the places you're going, and Wiki Voyage will put those on your phone. And you know, there's also, of course, a mobile site, similar to how there's a mobile site of, uh, of uh, Wikipedia. There's a mobile site of Wiki Voyage as well, and you can um, get mobile content through there. Great, how are we doing for time? Ah, we have five minutes. Four minutes, there we go. Yes. What was that? Yes, yes, I want, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know about the plans. When, when is Visual Editor coming to Wikivoid? Is that, that sort of the question? Will the visual editor be good for, 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 for Wiki Voyage? Um, hopefully, um, you know, Wiki Voyage, or I mean, the, the visual editor, of course, is still in beta. Um, you know, Wiki Voyage doesn't require, you know, I don't, I don't think editing Wiki Voyage requires quite the amount of capacity and ability as editing Wikipedia. And I think that's why visual editor has struggled a little bit on Wikipedia is the demands for editing Wikipedia with respect to references are way greater than the demands for editing Wikivoyage. So, you know, the visual editor would probably work quite well for, for Wikivoyage. Yes? Um, I know you're waiting for your new Is, is, is there anyone here who speaks Vietnamese? Ah, excellent. So maybe, maybe she could help. I'm not sure if the, you know, I, I think there's just people from the German and English community. Uh, and Italian, of course. In most case, when I'm at home, I can provide some Vietnamese information. I, I have a lot of friends at home, but they can do it. It, Just it, remind me. <laughs> yes. Yes, you know, I think, you know, both both Wikipedia and Wikivoyage are formatted a lot for a large computer screen. We have the exact same problem with Wikipedia, you know, our mobile usage has exploded. Um, you know, more you know, more than ten percent of all page views for Wikipedia is via mobile. Many of our pages are huge in length, and we as Wikipedia really need to concentrate on making sure that our first ten senses of our articles are Excellent, easy to read, and in simple English. Um, Wiki Voyage has some of the same issues. But I think the mobile version works as well. Yeah, you but, can, but 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 it's just that 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 the mobile, you know, the page, some of the pages are really long, and they're hard to browse in the mobile version. That's that does sort of your question, yes. There's. There's a general structure to each article, so if you learn the structure of the Wiki Voyage article, then you should know what section the information you're looking for is in, and that should help you find what you're looking for. Uh, I was wondering if the, the work you, you did with substituting the, the links to the file was done in other languages as well, or not? We, um, as far as I'm aware, we've done it in all languages, yes. There, there's sort of a project, and, and everybody, you know, somebody from each of the languages made sure that uh, all the 
links to wiki travel and internet brands were removed across all Wikimedia Foundation sites. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.